Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. I am actually filming this much later in the evening. I am almost finished editing this video and I just realized I forgot to film an intro and an outro. Um, so that's what we're doing now. So yeah, welcome to the video. This is going to be our Christmas house tour, holiday, house walk type of video. I did one um, showing uh, our fall decor and you guys seemed to like it so I thought I would do it again showing our uh, Christmas holiday decor so yeah let's just jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy okay guys starting at the front door I'll just quickly show you our front door decor we keep it super super simple every single year these are just um, faux wreaths from Ikea I got them two years ago I don't think they um, carry this exact style of faux wreath anymore um, which is too bad because these were my favorite. I have two of these, one on this door, one on the other front door. And yeah, I like how simple, slightly rustic, but also very clean this looks. Um, two years ago, the first year I had these, I did weave some twinkle lights in through these, um, but it was just kind of tricky to hide the battery pack. So I might do it again this year, we'll see. But I do just like how it looks on its own as well. So now in the front foyer, this is what you see when you first walk into our house. Um, I think it's really cute because you get a little bit of the twinkle from our big Christmas tree, but I do like to dress this area up a little bit. Um, that being said, I do like to keep it pretty minimal because this is this needs to be a very functional space, so I like to keep it clean. Um, so I just popped this little tree here. It's just like really lightly flocked. I like the little miniature pine cones. This is from Michael's last year, um, and I got it on sale and then I just popped it it already comes wrapped in burlap on the bottom but I prefer how it looks in a pot so this is actually a dollar store planter <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice guys and I just like how it looks kind of rustic in there a little more finished and then I decided to pop a little dollar store bow up there which I think looks super adorable <laughs> so yeah and then everything else is just the same from one season to the next now moving into the kitchen from the foyer we have kept it or i have kept it i guess i should say it's super super simple this year i want it to keep with our um like our dusty blue theme so these velvet dusty blue pillows from ikea um are staying and that's kind of all the same i keep the same table runner all year long i find it works really well for all of the seasons um, and i like to just reuse this one over and over again because again we do have a small house I don't like having a huge excess of decor um, and then I like think this is just so simple and so stinking cute <laughs> um, this is just an old thrifted jug I use this from one season to the next I just kind of put seasonal stems greenery florals in it um, you know from summer to fall to winter so um, I just this year I decided to just pop these random little bits of greenery in here mostly because these were both from different garlands that kind of fell apart when we were getting them out of storage so I decided to use them in some way instead of throwing them out and I think they look pretty pretty cute in this rustic little jug here so that is our very simple centerpiece and then I always like to keep a candle here um, on kind of this rustic speckled dish that again was thrifted. Um, this actually used to be the base for a gravy boat, but the gravy boat broke, which is a very, very sad story because this is my favorite gravy boat. <laughs> um, this is just a French toast candle from Walmart of all places. I'm so impressed with this candle. It smells amazing and it was only four bucks. So it smells lovely in here right now. And then the only other thing we did in this area was we kind of dressed up our chandelier a little bit. This chandelier is from Ikea, I think about five years ago. They no longer carry it, but we just love it to bits. Um, and this year at Ikea, I found these light blue taper candles. I wonder if I can grab one out and show you up close because they don't, they're not coming off as blue as they actually are. No, I can't get that out. Oop. <laughs> Um, but they kind of just really subtly tie in with our blue theme with the pillows with the runner over there um, And they look kind of magical. I'm really excited to light them. I think they're gonna look so pretty. So yeah, this is our dining area in the kitchen Oh 
Okay, so in the main area of the kitchen, again, because it's a small space and it has to be very functional, I haven't done a ton in here, but I do think it looks wintry and festive still. So again, kept our blue runner for the season. And then all I did, I actually think this shelf is new, so if you watched my fall house decor tour, this wouldn't have been here. So this is actually a shelf that a friend of ours made for us years ago. Um, this year I dug it out of storage and I painted it the same color as the wall. Um, I will link my painting video up in a card here um, because I just recently repainted the whole kitchen, this really beautiful creamy white color. Um, and then Sean helped me pop on some gold uh, hooks and I think it looks really, really beautiful. I'm loving using this and styling it. Um, so most of what we have here is functional. We use it daily, um, but I just popped up some pine cones that I dipped in some white paint a few years ago. Just tied them up with some twine. Scissors cutting boards are always here. Um, and then I just popped a little wreath up here. I think that looks really cute. This wreath is actually from the dollar store, again, a few years ago. And I always kind of put it in a different spot each December, but this is where it's gonna live this year. else in here has really changed um, our little blue dish there for scrubbies and dishwashing brushes brushes <laughs> excuse me stays there again the time with our blue theme excuse the dirty dishes in the sink we'll ignore those for now um, I'm gonna keep this plant here because this is, this is the only place it thrives um, and again I really like the blue pot I think it ties in with the other blue hints in this space and then over here Everything is pretty much the same. I find that this piece of artwork that we got for our wedding actually works really, really well in winter. So it's going to stay here and be festive and adorable. And then the only thing I changed over here is I switched out. Um, I had like a mustard orange cup that I stored these little spoons in for fall. And I switched it out for one of these little green glass cups, which I think looks really, really cute ties in with the green in the greenery on the kitchen table and with the wreath and yeah okay now heading into our living room hopefully the lighting there we go um over on this side i've kept it well i've pretty much done nothing i really like having this um faux fur here on the piano seat that's from ikea again they always have those and then I just popped a small white pillar candle, which is actually left over from our wedding, November 2018, um, into this little glass jar, which is actually something I used to keep, like, um, Q-tips and cotton pads in in the upstairs bathroom, but I've kind of repurposed it this year. So, I think that looks warm and glowy. I like keeping it there. And then not too much has changed here. Um, the one thing I did add this year, it's going to be hard to show you because the window is right behind it, but um, I got these two wreaths from Ikea and I'll show you what they look like. I'll insert a clip of what they look like tonight because these candles are on a timer um, and I just think they're so stinking cute. So these little candle holders that are meant to hook above a door but I've put them on the curtain rod are actually from Canadian Tire. I got them on sale for seven dollars and then I just popped these Ikea wreaths on top of them. Okay and this is our Christmas tree. It's actually probably a little big for this space but we love it. My mother-in-law actually found this at a garage sale a few years ago um, and I think she maybe paid eight dollars for it so love it eventually i think i would like to try and do like a diy flocking on it um maybe i think i'd have to do it outside so it would be a summer project so maybe this summer if i can convince sean i will try and flock this tree um yeah because i love flocked trees and it's just you know my dream to have a flocked tree um overall we <laughs> we have a very random tree we don't kind of 
do the super styled cohesive thing um we just have a very very random fun collection of ornaments and it just kind of grows a little bit every single year and that's kind of the vibe we go for which is nice i think it looks really cozy and cute lots of ornaments <laughs> our conversation starters um actually i'll show you a few of my favorites if i can find them I have a lot of owls on here, but I'm trying to find my favorite one. Where is it? Oh yeah. Oh, Sean has hidden it in the back. This is one of my favorite ornaments <laughs> of all time. Look how cute he is. So ugly that he's cute, I would say. Everything over here is kind of the same. I think these look especially pretty in the winter when the candles in them are lit. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that this little armoire here is normally flipped and pushed up against this wall, which is why this area might look a little awkward right now, but we just found that um, in order to put the Christmas tree here between the TV and the armoire and then still be able to access the front doors of the armoire we had to kind of flip it this way um which is okay it'll do for now for this time of year because this is where we keep a lot of our games and stuff um that we reach for a lot during the holiday season and then up here we just keep our advent calendars nothing fancy and this little house lantern which sean actually picked up from ikea and then the only other bit of decor on the main floor is in our <clears throat> is in our downstairs bathroom and we keep this super simple because our tenant uses it as do our guests so again it's a smaller space we don't like to clutter it up with decor so all I've done is taken this little dollar store candle and this little do dollar store piece of greenery which I think it has a hook on it so I think it's actually meant to be hung up um, but I just popped it on here and I think that looks really cute. Um, I have also ordered an amber glass pump jar to depot the hand soap in because I think I just want it to look a little more cohesive in here. That might sound crazy to some, but <laughs> that was the fall soap and it just does not match my winter aesthetic. <laughs> So it's all it's still almost full and it's orange and clove, so the the scent is totally appropriate for the season, but I just want to put it in a cuter container. Okay, so we don't do a ton in our bedroom, um, mostly because we're still working on these two walls. Like this one needs to be sanded, remudded, sanded, primed, and painted. This wall needs to be repainted. And I think one of our winter projects is putting crown molding up in this space. So I'm um, not gonna go crazy with the decor. That being said, we do always bring out, <laughs> I say always, but this is only our second winter with it. Um, but this really, really comfy flannel duvet cover which ties in really nicely with the blues and greens in our rug. Um, and it, this is actually from Ikea. And it's one of the softest, comfiest duvet covers I've ever owned. So that's like the main winter switch in this space. Um, and then the only other thing I added was up here. This lantern is here all year round. This is actually the Ikea lantern that we put our pillar candle in um, for part of our wedding ceremony um and i've just now slipped an ikea light in here which kind of imitates the look of the pillar candle in it so i like that we can reuse it in that way um but yeah that stays up all year round and then all i did this year was i popped a candle here this is another beautiful candle from walmart walmart has really stepped up their candle game which is weird to say but it smells beautiful and it looks really pretty as well and then the only other thing is I've just popped this vase that I thrifted a few weeks ago actually up on top of this dresser and then I have some faux greenery stems in here. These ones are from the dollar store. These ones are from Michaels. Again, they're all a few years old so I didn't really purchase too much new this year. But I think that's pretty cute. We always kind of keep the TV on an angle like this so I like to kind of fill this space with something so it doesn't look awkward. So yeah just like a little festive moment in the bedroom, which I quite like.
And now in my office, the only thing I've done is just popped this little Christmas tree into an old wicker basket that I have um, and plugged it in. And I don't know, I really like having a Christmas tree in my office. It's become kind of a thing year after year. And all I did, I haven't really decorated it at all. It already has lights like built into the tree. Um, but I found these garlands from Dollarama and I just bought three of them and they were $3 each, which is kind of a steal because I think they look, I don't know, I don't think they look like dollar store garlands. And then I just kind of loosely wrapped them around. So I really like how simple and rustic this is. And I think it's a cute little, cute little addition. This pillow is from Zara Home. Um, normally I keep it on my office chair, but it's just plopped there for now. So yeah. That is it. That is all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to keep hanging out with me over here on my little corner of the internet. I'd love to have you. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of this beautiful day and I will see you guys in my next video.